Decimals, like these, can be rounded to a smaller number of decimal places, which means getting rid of some of the digits after the decimal point. But you can't just chop them off without thinking about it. Ouch. No, I'm afraid there are rules to follow, but do that and you'll get it right every time. So here we go, to round to a number of decimal places. First, find the position of the last digit. So that's the last decimal place you want in the rounded number. Then look at the next digit along to the right. This is the decider. If the decider is five or more, then round up the last digit. But if it's four or less, leave the last digit as it is. Right then, let's see just how good these rules actually are with a nice cheese based example. It takes Kevin 6.432853 seconds to correctly identify a selection of cheeses. Round Kevin's time to A, two decimal places, and B, three decimal places. OK, so let's start with part A. So we want the rounded number to have two decimal places. So the last digit is where this three is here. So I'll circle that. Lovely. And the decider is two and we can ignore everything else to the right. Remember, the decider tells us whether to round up or not. When it's four or less, we leave the last digit as it is, so we keep the three. And that means our answer is 6.43 seconds to two decimal places, or DP for short. Okay, moving on to part B. So this time, the last digit is two, because we want three decimal places and the decider is 8. When the decider is 5 or more, we round up the last digit, so we round 2 up to 3, and so our answer is 6.433 seconds. Right, here's a slightly more awkward example. Round the number 0 0.795 to two decimal places. OK, so the last digit is 9, and the decider is 5. And remember, 5 or more rounds up, so we need to round the 9 up. Now it's this rounding up of a 9 that's the awkward bit. We can't write 10 in the second decimal place. Instead, we write 0 and carry the 1 across to the first decimal place. So this becomes 7 plus 1, which is 8. So the answer is 0 0.80. It's very important you remember to write the 0 at the end. That's this one. Otherwise, there's only one decimal place and not two. OK, we should probably go over that important method one last time. So I've uh, written a limerick for you. Don't laugh. Rounding decimals won't give you a fright. If you find last place, then look one to the right. Five or more, then round up. Four or less, it stays put. That's it from me. Thank you. Good night.